Welcome to Getting Started with Adobe Spark Page. In this screencast, I will show you how you and your students can easily use this tool to tell your stories. Alright, let's get started with Adobe Spark Page. So I'm going to tap on my app. As soon as I open my app, we're going to go ahead and tap on that plus sign in the very bottom of the middle of the screen to begin our project. So before I even start my project, to the right in the top corner, I'm going to tap on that magic wand and you'll see you have an option of several different themes to choose from. I'm going to choose Baldwin. And once you do that, you will have, you can begin your project. So I'm going to put in my text and it is space. It's going to be my topic and then it's going to prompt me to add a photo. You have several different ways you can add photos. You can see them all here on the right. They have some stock photos in there, other search engines for photos, but I'm going to go directly to my iPad. Once you put your image in there, the, it'll prompt you to scroll to start writing your story. So when we scroll, you'll get a little menu that pops up that shows you all the different ways you can add content, all the different types of content you can add within your page project. So I can do a photo. And when you add that photo, you'll see the different options you have of how that photo can be placed on your page. You can add a caption. And when you add caption, you'll see the menu that pops up at the very top. These options are for my text that I added as a caption. As a caption, I can bold it, italicize it. You can even hyperlink it if you'd like. Text. When I put my text in, here, this option you have header one, which will make my font bigger. So they're very simple options for students, but you can just tap on them and change it to header one or two. I can also align the way I want my alignment of my text. I can force the alignment to center, to left, or right. You can add buttons, and buttons you can hyperlink to other media outside of Adobe Spark page. So I'm going to put text on my button. Then I'm going to add a website. And then you'll see here I have the options of how I want that placed on my page. It also allows me to align it. Video, you can just add a link into your video paste it and it'll add the content and embed those videos directly into your Adobe Spark page project. Photo grid is just as it says. You can choose several photos, create a grid of those, and then for every single photo you can go in and change the size or the placement of that photo, photo within your Adobe Spark project. Glideshow, you can add several pictures in and what this does is it allows you to and to add text on top of your images within this glide show. So as you, it'll automatically prompt you to add text. And as you choose, you see the pictures are full screen and the text is on top of that. You can add videos. And you can also add a button to link out again. Try that again. I'm going to add a button. I'm going to add our link. And you can also change on any photo if you tap on it the focal point because as it moves around, if whatever you want to focus, and you'll see it right there in the top right hand corner, so it will adjust itself on that page so that when it does scroll, that that part of my photo is the main focal point of it. All right, so I have finished my Adobe Spark page project. And if I want to preview it, I will tap here on that third icon here with the play button. And I can see and scroll through and see, tap on that and see my content, our web page.
Now, once I'm done and I'm happy with my project, I'm going to share it. So that's that icon here in the top right hand corner, my share button. I will select the category that it will be in and create the public link. I will take this link and share it as my published Bart page project. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.